And do you remember the first day you heard about ChatGPT? Since then, the technology has skyrocketed. When it first launched, you could use it to write a budget. Now, you can use it to replace yourself. <laughs> you can literally let it do its thing, run your whole business while you're on vacation in Hawaii. And if you think I'm kidding, let's see about that. I'm gonna show you 10 really cool hacks that are gonna save you time and make your life easier. Let's go. Hack number one, the negotiation whisperer. If you need help writing the perfect email for a tricky negotiation, whether it's for a job, car lease, or rental unit, ChatGPT can be your secret weapon. Someone recently told me that there's nothing in life that can't be negotiated, and this blew my mind. It's so true. We take so many scenarios at face value when in actuality, most things are negotiable. How much you pay for things, the relationship agreements you have with people, the list goes on. You know, you can tell a good negotiator from a great negotiator when they think outside the box. Like playing Monopoly with a family member who negotiates taking out the garbage for Baltic Avenue. Was that on the table? Well, it is now. Because thinking outside the box sometimes takes a little bit of creativity. It also takes high emotional intelligence and inner calm, which you might not have in the heat of the moment. So that is where ChatGPT comes in. It can be a huge lifesaver to help you get one step closer in finding a mutual agreement and ultimately getting what you want. First, describe your situation and desired outcome and ask it to generate a persuasive email for you. You'll definitely want to tailor it to your specific needs, but ChatGPT will give you a strong foundation to start. Whether you're after an email or a framework to use before you step into your boss's office or partners, <laughs> you can use it to be prepared. Okay, hack number two. I can't tell you how many times I've used it to spark my creativity. If you're hitting a writer's block, ChatGPT can be your muse. Describe your copy idea or provide a starting sentence and ask it to continue the story. You can even specify genre, tone, or audience details. It will generate creative narratives, helping you overcome writer's block and get those creative juices flowing. Personally, at work, I use this to develop marketing copy. I'll have like a general idea of what I wanna say, but usually it's too early in the morning to think of snappy copy with alliteration and rhyming and God knows what else. So actually, sometimes what I'll do is I'll start on my own and then I'll just give up and I'll go to ChatGPT. And then I just, I wonder why I ever bothered wasting my time. So you can get clever, grammatically correct, punchy copy in seconds. You can ask it for Facebook ad copy. You can ask it to write scripts for your videos, even a presentation deck. In fact, I wrote this entire script using ChatGPT. Just kidding, that would be so obnoxious. But actually, an unexpected way to use ChatGPT for copy is to analyze your competitors' negative customer reviews on their product pages or forums. Once you find your competitors' weak weaknesses, you can address those gaps in your own product and website copy. It's definitely an unexpected tactic that can boost your competitive edge. Hack number three, use ChatGPT to help you get unstuck. Let's say you're halfway through a problem. You know what the outcome is that you want. You just don't know how to get there. <laughs> ChatGPT can help you. This actually happened to me recently. I was trying to find the relationship between how much money I had made and how many likes I get per video. This was for my own personal YouTube channel. And I was just like busy eyeballing the graph, looking at it, being like, is there a relationship here? Am I just seeing what I want to see? And then ChatGPT was just like, oh yeah, you a correlation coefficient calculator, if you want to be sure. And I was like, damn straight, I want to be sure ChatGPT. Whether you are in Excel or analytics or Tableau or whatever, if you have a numbers problem and you're trying to get unstuck, ChatGPT will be your best friend. Hack number four, personalized financial planner slash money saving expert. Now in the wise words of Dan Dembski, you want to be concerned about your recurring expenses. Those are like a vacuum to your bank account, like the rent, like the car payment, like paying your workforce. I don't know if he said it exactly in those terms, I'm just paraphrasing, but the point is, is that spending habits, whether personally or in business, can be analyzed and tweaked by ChatGPT without the need for a financial advisor or planner. So you can copy and paste your statements or other financial information into ChatGPT and ask questions like, where can I cap back? Or am I investing my money right? ChatGPT would probably ask me to stop spending so much money on my dog, just being real with you, but Sandwich is a queen and she does need a daily dog walker and she needs fancy food, okay? Do you guys remember that article that came out a while ago stating that millennials are financially unstable? stable because they spend too much money on avocado toast. I remember that. And then there was backlash saying that it wasn't true because it's not avocado toast that drains your bank account. It was something else. But basically what I'm saying is that there's always going to be money management trends that come and go, but there's nothing like good personalized advice coming from a free robot. <laughs> or if you just want a human, here it is. Just spend less than you make. <laughs> and don't borrow from Paul to pay John. That one's actually came from my great grandmother, Ruth. This is a handy hack indeed. Now, personally, I wouldn't want to divulge personal information to a robot 
that I've never met. But if you're brave and could use some free advice, you can actually uncover money saving and money making hacks that you didn't know existed. Hack number five, use it as a replacement for Google. Have you ever been searching for something that you just need a quick answer for like, how do I block someone on my contact list? <laughs> and then Google shows up three different videos that don't actually help and several articles that are outdated and you're like, I'm sorry, we're living in the 21st century. This is feeling quite retro that I don't have an answer in 2.5 seconds. Well, ChatGPT can give you far more succinct answers than Google can. Are they always right? No, no, they're not. But if you use Gemini, formerly Google Bard, you can actually use a button at the bottom that lets you check the source of the answers if you're feeling uncertain. I love using this hack for really specific tasks. Like we were, okay, this is a real story. We were trying to use a karaoke machine at my friend's house and could not figure out how to connect it to the mic. And at first we were like Googling. And then finally I went to ChatGPT, gave it the product and model number and the issue that was at hand. And before you know, it, it gave us an answer with a list of steps. It's very handy for technology. It is. I always use it to find out how to work my camera actually. Or let's say you're cooking a recipe and the taste comes out wrong. It can help you figure out how to counteract that issue. So what I'm trying to say here is that ChatGPT is an amazing, amazing tool for daily Google searches that are oddly specific and yet quite straightforward. Don't you love a good commercial break? No one loves a good commercial break. I feel like kids will never understand the fear and panic of running to the bathroom before Desperate Housewives comes back on. Kyla, don't just stand there. Look at help. Help, please. The this of course is prior to live TV that you couldn't pause, but alas, this is a commercial break. And I'm here to tell you that you're watching a Shopify power channel. So of course I need to tell you all about Shopify. Now I need to tell you this one thing. I've said it before and I will say it again. I have one life to live. I have no time to sit around and play games, okay? And in this life, I'm gonna keep it real. So when I say that I love Shopify, it's because I truly feel it and believe it. I use Shopify. I recommend Shopify to my friends and family and some of the biggest businesses in the world like Allo Yoga, Skims, Spanx, Fashion Nova, they all use Shopify. The day that a better platform comes out, I will stop bugging you about this. I will, but until then, I will sing it from the rooftops. Running an online store is insanely easy and quick to set up. So if you're an entrepreneur or a budding entrepreneur and you wanna start selling products online, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box below for you to get your free trial. This is a very special, a very exclusive deal that I offer in every single video. So don't walk, run. Hack number six. Okay, so like we said, this is a Shopify power channel. This is a business channel, right? But I need to give you a hack that has has nothing to do with business at all because this saved my life. I had a horrible allergic reaction on my scalp, okay? It was a bad scene. So I went to my dermatologist. I'm like, listen, man, I'm suffering. He's like, take some medication you'll be fine. But it's not gonna solve the issue. He was like, it's probably your shampoo or some other product. And I was like, okay, great. How do I find out what the cause is? And he was like, you do a test. And I was like, how much is that gonna cost me? I was like, you know what? Never mind. Give me the medication. And then I was like, I'm gonna use ChatGPT. I'm a spoiled Canadian living in America and I'm used to having free healthcare. Anyways, so then I went back to ChatGPT. I copy pasted the ingredients of the two things that were making me itchy, my shampoo and my hair dye. And I was like, tell me the common ingredients here. And it took the long list of ingredients and it helped me find the common denominators, which could be causing the irritation. This was amazing because I can't read and understand the crazy ingredient lists, let alone tell you the common denominator. <laughs> so bringing this back to a business lens, let's say you have a huge Excel document, for example, and you need to find repeated instances, you can plug that into ChatGPT. Or this one's a good one. If you're given a contract with amendments and you just wanna make sure that you're keeping track of what has been changed before you sign it, plug that into ChatGPT to help you find those common points. And yeah, that's hack number six. Moving on to hack number seven, ChatGPT can help you find less expensive product alternatives based on the very specific criteria that you might have. Let's say for example, you're about to invest in a software for your company. Before you do, you wanna do a little bit of research to make sure you're getting this thing right. So you go to Google. Most of what you see are ads and blog articles, which are probably also ads too, let's be real. But what you can do is you can take to ChatGPT to tell it what the features are that you like and the budget that you're working with. Give a list of competitors that you're considering and ask for a less expensive alternative. It's a really great way to do product research and save money while you're at it. Hack number eight, I am obsessed with this. I use it a lot. I use ChatGPT to help me find alternative ways to say things. So I will just verbally spit out whatever the heck comes to mind and I'll be like, chat GPT, help me say this in a way that is business professional. <laughs> and it will make my writing more clear and to the point while still getting the message across. This is great for meetings with your employers or employees. This is great for presentations and pitches as well. This is amazing for readouts to your partners and stakeholders. And basically when you feel that you need to speak eloquently and instill a sense of trust and confidence, using chat GPT will help you get there. Hack number nine, use chat GPT to summarize agreements. Now I have not done this 
before, but it sounds like something I would do. So what you would do is you copy and paste the agreement that the big companies are making you sign before using their products and technology and basically just see what the through line is. Has anyone ever seen that Black Mirror episode about this where people's whole lives are signed away because they agreed to the terms and conditions of the streaming platform? You're in a show right now. I'm in a show right now? We're all Spotify users here, right? So let's see what they're making us agree to. I'm gonna copy and paste their terms and conditions into ChatGPT and let's ask it to summarize it for me and see. All right, all right, pretty basic. Uh, you must be 13 years or older to use Spotify. Spotify offers free trials and paid plans and you can cancel your paid subscription at any time, etc., etc. So pretty kosher. You can use this for personal use, just like I have here, or for a contract in a pinch. I want you guys to give me more hacks. Share your hack list with the community down below. What are you guys using ChatGPT for? Please put me on because I'm always open to new and fun ideas. Teach me something new. Hack number 10. Do you ever wish that ChatGPT could sound just a little bit more like you with the responses that it's giving you? This was super, super trippy. The other day I asked ChatGPT based on everything that I've ever searched, what have you gathered about my character and personality? It gave me some answer like, sorry, I can't do that. I can't remember how I worked around it, maybe peer pressure, but finally it spit out like, I think you're this and I think you're that. And I was like, wow, I totally agree with everything that it's saying, which is really interesting because when you ask ChatGPT questions, you know, you're really completely unfiltered. And now all that to say is you should ask ChatGPT what it thinks about you. And if you agree with it and you agree with what it's saying, then you should train it to give you responses to be more like you, both morally and in tone of voice. That way you won't have to fight with the way that it writes back to you. It'll be like you're talking to a smarter version of yourself. That's a crazy hack that I haven't really heard anyone else talk about because I randomly figured this out on a lazy Sunday, but let me know if you guys end up using this because I feel like this one's a game changer. All right, we're giving you a bonus one, okay? Hack number 11. Okay, so you know how every successful person ever talks about having a mentor, but what if you don't know anyone that's mentor worthy? Like, do you just DM them and ask for a mentorship? Like, how does it actually work? So if you really want a mentor, as in today, ChatGPT offers a solution. Just do some research on the correct prompts and train them to speak in a certain voice. So for the perfect prompt, I would use something like this. Context, specific information, intent, response format. So let's break this down. In this case, you would say something like context. You are Bill Gates, a genius entrepreneur with decades worth of experience in computer science and entrepreneurship who knows the computer industry from its inception. Then you add your specific information. You are my mentor and I am your mentee and you are teaching me the concepts of entrepreneurship and how to launch a billion dollar business from zero. Now it's time to add the intent. Find a profitable business in the tech industry that has a market gap that does not require a lot of funds to start and can be profitable in six to 12 months max. And then finally, ask for the format that you would like to receive your answers in. Give me bullet point answers as if you were talking to a total beginner with zero experience and see what it says. You can always tweak your prompt and add more information to your initial prompt as you see fit and ask more questions along the way. But setting the tone right in your initial demand creates a perfect prompt that's tailored to your needs. I mean, you can always find a real human mentor. However, those relationships take a while to build. But if you want to get one right away from the POV of the many greats out there and for free, ChatGPT is the one. You're welcome. Knock, knock. It's me again, I'm back with another reminder that you can use Shopify for a beautiful personalized online store with the link in the description box. I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you're an entrepreneurial go-getter type. So if that's you and you wanna give this a whirl, the free trial does not ask you for your credit card or anything like that. You just go up, you sign up and you're ready to go. Okay, was today's video fun or what? Lately, I've been ending off our videos with like a little personal story, but I feel like I just gave like three in this video and I think that's enough for now. Let me know guys, how often are you using ChatGPT? What are you using it for? And have you found any crazy discoveries? Tell me a story guys, I wanna hear it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you for tuning in. This channel that you're watching right here is called Learn With Shopify. We teach you everything that you need to know from how to use ChatGPT to how to run Facebook ads and how to build an online store. So anything that is online and entrepreneurial related, we got it here. So if you are that type, or maybe you wanna become that type, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe. I am here every week, so if you guys wanna hang out with me next week, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a like because it does make a huge difference and it's something that helps me out personally as a human being. Glad we got to hang out and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.